Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. And today we're doing a video on adaptive speed control. Auto cruise control, I'm sorry. Um, I got the uh, cruise control set at 80 miles per hour. And it's on self-driving mode right now. And I'm stuck in traffic. And uh, I have absolutely no control over the uh, well I don't have my foot on the brake or the gas and the car is stopping and going on its own keeping a safe distance between the car in front of me and uh, and uh, it, it comes to a full stop when it has to and then regain resume speed to match the speed of the car in front of us and that's how it works so I'm absolutely, I'm all I'm doing is just holding on to the steering wheel. I'm not really holding it. I'm just resting my hand on it. And the weight of my hand on the steering wheel is just enough to let the car know that I'm here. And uh, whenever I do let go of the steering wheel for any length of time, about 12 seconds or so, the car will alert me to put my hands back on the steering wheel. So I, I'm not steering the car at all. The car is keeping in the lane by itself. And uh, all I'm doing is just letting the car know I'm here by putting the weight of my hand on the steering wheel just like this. And the car is doing all the steering, all the accelerating, and all of the braking. And uh, to be honest with you, if you're stuck in traffic like this, this is this is pretty good. This... this uh, this uh, take a lot of stress and to fatigue out of driving. And whenever I do, I actually feel less sleepy and less fatigued when I'm driving like this. Um, I would th I would thought that the lack of uh, concentration and lack of effort driving would make me uh, uh, sleepy, but it's the opposite. Actually, it makes makes me actually less tired and more wide awake and uh, to just be a passenger while the uh, vehicle do, is doing most of the driving. Now, uh, it's not complete 100% uh, self-driving. Uh, I, I believe there is certain degrees of turning and, uh, 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 you know, uh, turn uh, curves and stuff like that that you do need to actually uh, retake control of the vehicle uh, if the vehicle is going too fast I think for certain curves that are really uh, uh, curvy I believe uh, it's best probably to just go ahead and take control of the vehicle but um, 90 90 percent of the time 95 percent of the time the car will handle itself on curves uh, and uh, keeping in the lane and things like that. Now, if you want to change lane, yeah, you do have to signal to change the lane. If you don't signal to change lanes, the car will uh, kind of resist you because, um, uh, you know, if you don't signal, then the car will resist you when you try to change lane, and it will sound the alarm, thinking the car will thinking the car thinking that uh, you're you're doing something that uh, you shouldn't be doing. Anyway, yep. See how we're we're slowing down and speeding up. I'm able to make a YouTube video while I'm driving. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.